Today, after weeks and weeks and weeks of bitching and moaning, the Prime Minister came up with a quarter of a billion dollars for the entertainment industry. Now, this is always called the arts sector, but it's not. It's the showbiz community. These are the people who aren't just the people who stride the stage, but the people who actually own the stage, the actual stage hands, the types of people who physically put together the events that so many of us look forward to. But because of COVID, all of their business has simply disappeared. So a collection of short-term loans or outright grants will go to these people. So it's not all about finger painters and writers who are working on their next great poem about how evil white Australia is. It's about helping out an industry full of people who I'm very passionate about because I've learnt to work with them and had fun learning from them. I've not had to learn to work for them. I have worked with them my whole life. So I'm more than happy that this money is coming in. Uh, this was an announcement made today by the Prime Minister and he did so at Rudy Hill RSL. One of the things we learned as we listened to the sector is that these shows are, are typically put on out of people's own capital. They often will not even go to the bank um, um, to secure uh, any loans against the production itself. So they've been running down their own capital. They've been pulling off their own superannuation to pay their staff on top of what they've been getting through JobKeeper. And that means their capital is largely shot. And so the lesson for us was we had to fill the capital pool again for them. Now, why am I leading tonight's show uh, with this? Not because there has been an increase in money that is going to be going towards the art and entertainment sector, but because apparently there was a hate crime committed today. A hate crime committed by Guy Sebastian. God forbid Guy Sebastian decided to turn up at this announcement, turned up at this announcement, and actually spoke positively of a quarter of a billion dollars being handed by the Australian taxpayer to the people who he works with all the time. Now, the union newsletter, they went nuts. Twitter, of course, went completely insane. Here was Guy Sebastian committing the hate crime of agreeing with the elected Prime Minister. Thank you so much and thanks for hearing us on, on behalf of myself as an artist but also um, people like Adam who's here today. We uh, were really appreciated to, you know, we appreciate it that you haven't forgotten us and that, and that we're thought of. I mean, what a hate crime. I mean, thanking the Prime Minister for $250 million, a quarter of a billion dollars that helps people in the entertainment industry. Here's Twitter, the internet's toilet door. And for the hate crime of agreeing with the Prime Minister, Guy Sebastian is now the Scott Cam of the music world. People are losing their shit over Guy Sebastian, apparently at a press conference with ScoMo. Just when I thought we'd hit peak stupidity, it had been reached. Wade says, Guy Sebastian, they pull out the heavy hitters for ScoMo's job maker presser today. I could never feel the soul in Guy Sebastian's music. It was never there. Empty. Now I know why. Hashtag Ospol so corrupt. Some show they're called teetering on the edge. Can someone just publish a list of Hillsong aligned musicians, police, artists, actors, etc. so I can just cancel them all at once? Feel like I'm always the last one to know. Hashtag Guy Sebastian. Oh dear. These people are toddlers, they are sooks, they are lunatics. These are the same people who were wanting support for the arts industry. And they're not particularly clever. Because the Prime Minister hardly hid that Guy Sebastian, among others, were the people who were giving him advice about the plight of this industry. You just have to go to the Prime Minister's Instagram feed. It's not part of the National Archives. You don't have to put in a Freedom of Information request because it was there for all to see. He wasn't just meeting with Guy Sebastian and other people who oh, believe in God. What rubbish is all that bullshit, by the way? He was meeting with a couple of artists. He was meeting with recording industry people. He was meeting with high-end arts producers. Yet, apparently... It is a hate crime to agree with the Prime Minister when he gives your industry $250 million. You people are sooks. The concept that everything must be cancelled because I disagree with you shows that you are nothing but a toddler. A toddler, yes, with a Twitter account, but a toddler nonetheless.